Hey, 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 Taurus. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So let's see what's going on for my Taurus, my bull gang. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Taurus, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video and go live. All right, Taurus, let's see what we got going on here. So we have strength. We have the queen of chalices, the five of pentacles, and the knight of swords. Ooh, la la. That's what you got, Taurus. What's going on? Let's see what is going on here. Okay, Taurus, it looks like you're going to need to be strong for something. It could be communication that's coming in from somebody that you ghosted, they ghosted you, somebody who feels left out in the cold. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign, really. So let's see. Tell me about this Strength card. Let's see what's coming at you, Taurus. What's it going on? Leo energy. What's going on with the strength? Seven of chalices. Hmm, it could be you have many options. Let me see. If it's options or confusion. You're going to have options. Six of chalices and judgment. So you got somebody coming back from the past. Okay, and with the seven of cups there, the, it, it may be a couple of people from the past or like one from the past and some from the present. Okay, so you're going to need to be strong. Um, okay, so this could be somebody that you've known from childhood. This could be somebody just from the past. This could for some of you just be a couple of soulmates right if they're not from the past so let's check out who this queen of chalices is who is this queen of chalices the high priestess is this taurus uh, okay all right so this is you taurus what's going on whoops the four of swords healing so you're doing some healing. I feel like it's of the heart. Ah, seven of swords. Okay. So whoever is coming back towards from the past, there is a major communication breakdown. But I feel like even though this person may not be communicating with you, um, and by that I don't mean like, literally no communication because obviously they're coming back it's like those words unspoken you know what they are you can feel the energy you have the high priestess here and the queen of chalices which means you are very intuitive you are very in tune i want to get another one on the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here the magician ah aha uh -huh. You feel like somebody's coming back and it's a trick. Like, you feel there is ulterior motives. And this is your intuition telling you that. And if this is you, Taurus, if this is for you, you need to listen to your intuition, which is why you need to be strong. It's like your intuition must override anything that's going on you know, sexually speaking, your mind, if it's getting away from you. Why is the five of pentacles here? Now, this person may be coming back, I don't know, for, 
revenge. Maybe you ghosted them. Or I don't know what happened in the past. Knave of Pentacles. But this is what you're feeling. This is what you're feeling when they come back. The moon. Yep. They have a hidden agenda. And you can sniff that out in a heartbeat. You know that. The king of pentacles. There you are. I feel like you're seeing this very clearly. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you. Tell me about the knight, the knave of, um, is it the knight? The knight of swords, sorry. Let me see what this is. That's why you need strength. Okay. The eight of wands. Yeah, because you may have a lot of sexual energy between you, Taurus, but you're going to be strong and you're going to hold back. And you need to, Taurus, because it's clear. It's clear. Yep, see? Five of swords. Nope. Whatever they're saying, they're lying. If they're coming back and they're saying they changed, they're lying. Four of wands. They're going to say that they want commitment. I don't know what they're going to say. Doesn't even matter what they're going to say cuz I'm not I'm not going to clarify what their what their spiel is going to be, but what you need to know is this is a no. Because they're up to no good. They're sneaky sneaky. Um and you know it. You know it. You just need the strength to say no. And you will. You will. So tell me I want to get is anybody else coming towards you? Anybody new coming towards Taurus? Let's see. Because I don't like this energy. I just want to get out of it. So anybody new coming towards Taurus? Let's see. The five of chalices. That's the past again. Anybody new? The nine of swords. Okay. They're still on this kick. They won't let me get away from it. I don't like the feeling that I'm that I'm having. Um, I don't like this feeling. It's actually almost making me sick, Taurus. Um, this energy is not good. Is dark. So this is going to make you anxious. Um, that's your clue. That's what they're saying. If it makes you anxious, okay, anxious and fearful, or both, okay, that's your clue. Ten of Wands. This is going to weigh heavy on you. The Chariot. You've got to move away from this person. You've got to move away. All right. Can I get away from this now? Thank you. Okay. So who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you? Is it the Chariot that's coming towards you? Okay. So it could be a Cancer that's coming towards you. It doesn't have to be, but it could be somebody from a distance. You could meet them while traveling or they just live at a distance. Five of Wands. You may struggle within about this, especially if this happens like after this past person comes back. Death. Yeah. It's like because you want to put a period at the end of this sentence over here. The King of Chalices. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Right? But... Taurus, what I'm feeling is this may need to happen, right? This person comes back, make peace with it, right? Utilize the energy, right? They're bringing energy to you. Okay, give me the energy. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to heal. I'm going to make peace with this dude or dudette. That's it. And I'm going to move on. You go your way. I'm going mine. That's it. This clears your energy for this person. You're finally putting a period at the end of that sentence. Okay? Yeah, temperance. See, you're going to have an angel helping you, help to guide you. And I just saw an aura. There. So, Sagittarius energy. Okay? Which angel? Michael. 
Okay, tell me a little bit about this person here. How do they feel about Taurus? How does this new person feel about Taurus? The Eight of Chalices. The Nine of Chalices. See, that's so funny because that's what I was feeling with the Eight of Chalices. I was feeling a couple of things with the Eight of Chalices. The Eight of Chalices, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling they're walking away from you. What I'm feeling is they're moving on from something just like you are. It's weird. And I also feel that they sort of feel that you've got to walk away from whatever this is. This may even be, be happening synonymously here, okay, at the same time. Because you, with the nine of chalices, are this person's wish fulfillment here, two of swords. But you've got to be careful that your heart space is clear so you can see that with the two of swords. I mean, your antenna and your intuition is on fire when this person comes back from the past. So be aware of not to shut it down with this new person, the world. Yeah, it's time to start a new cycle. All right, even take this slow, slow as you want, Taurus, okay? But don't block off your heart because you're going to miss out on a good thing here, okay? I'm hearing from this person's higher self, which is here, um, you are my world. So... I don't know what's going to be going on. Justice. Okay. I feel like you're going to be aware of this. You're going to be aware that your heart chakra may shut down because of this, because this just happened. But then you'll balance it out. So you may go in and out of this, but you're aware. Yeah, see, Knight of Chalices. So you're going to be offering up your heart space in your own time, Eight of Pentacles. You're going to put the work in, right? You're going to put the work in. You're going to stay in it. You're in it to win it, okay? But you are their world. They really want to, yeah, the wheel. They really want change with you. They really want to move forward. And this is divinely guided. I do feel that this is a high level soulmate here. You're going to have a lot in common, I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles. Yep. You're going to take this slow. And that's fine with this person. That's fine. For your what? They're saying they are meant for, and I can't catch the last part of it. What are they meant for? Expansion? Okay. But they were saying something else. The, the fool. You're going to take a leap of faith. Finally. It may take you some time. It may take some time, Taurus. But that's okay. You're the Taurus. You're the bull. That's fine. You take your time. But you need to say no to whoever this is. They're up to no good. I don't know what their ulterior motive is. And to tell you the truth, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because I don't like the energy. You're going to feel the energy. So you better listen to your intuition. All right. So what is your... I'm going to get advice for this past person and then for this new person. What's your advice for this past person? Oof. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like Spirit saying you need to focus on your abundance, your happiness, okay? Your commitment to yourself and what you want in a commitment. And it's not this. It's not that. They want you to remind yourself what you want in a commitment. They are not somebody who is um committed to anything okay it's like they I, i'm feeling a big gameplay yeah the tower so they're wanting you to wake up wake up to this bullshit wake up to the bullshit 
because you are somebody's world and they're waiting for you to step into it. This energy is making me mad, Taurus. Ugh. I don't like energy like that. I don't like it. it, it it's very uneasy. It's very dark. Don't ignore that feeling. Don't ignore the feeling. All right, what is your advice? What is your advice? They're saying you're going to know almost immediately. That's what they just said. Start. You must start from where you are, examine your situation, and take a chance. Yep. Introspection. Introspection is often necessary to deepen our awareness of the unity and divinity of life. So look within. Take a chance on this person. I like this energy. I like their energy. Their I feel a kindness here. I feel a soft heart. I feel a gentleness. I feel patience. I feel that this is what you need. Okay? All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic weekend or day whenever you see this video. And I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.